Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and if you're a YouTuber you know how frustrating it is to think you had the record button pushed and you went through the whole thing and then when you hit the record button to turn it off you started the recording. <laughs> well that just happened to me again. Anyway, um, I wanted to, uh, I just got this yesterday, I haven't flown it outside yet and uh, I wanted to, because a lot of people are going to get this as their first time drone, I wanted to help you understand a little bit about how your, uh, how your antenna system works so you can have better results. Uh, ben, uh, I was working in broadcasting for many years. I've been an uh, amateur radio operator for over 50 years, and I can tell you that antennas can be a headache or a help. So I just want to make a quick video here <laughs> and uh, on take two and uh, we'll get started. So first of all, we have to go back to the basics. And by the way, I will put a link to a, uh, a video I have on very basics if you want to understand how electrons flow in a wire and what, uh, what causes uh, uh, some things to be insulators and some things to be conductors. I've, I'll put a link to that. But we're not interested in that today. Today we're just interested in um, uh, antennas okay but we have to start with some basics every electrical system has to have two conductors two wires this is house wiring I took there's a ground wire but I don't want to get you confused so I pull that out of there but this is house wiring uh, like we have here in the US and uh, uh, the black wire by the way is a hot wire and the white wire is the ground wire and some people get that backwards and they get shocked uh, so anyway that's uh, house wiring here and in the United States, we have what's called 60 cycle current in these wires. And you always have to have two wires to have current, uh, one to go out to do the job and then another one for them to come back. Um, so we have to have two wires. And uh, in the United States, uh, the current, which by the way, flies at the speed of light, which is 186,000 miles per second, uh, the electrons fly back and forth in those wires at the speed of light, but they change direction 60 times every second. Now, in, the, uh, in Europe, they change direction 50 times every second. But here in the United States, it's, it's 60. For some reason, they wanted it to be different. So, anyway, uh, so you get, and that's 60 cycles. Now, it's also called 60 hertz. Uh, Heinrich Hertz was a, a pioneer in electricity during the 1800s and uh, not too many years ago they were calling everything cycles per second and then when they started getting to the real high frequencies they started calling naming up after Heinrich Hertz so that's called 60 Hertz nowadays alright and so that's how your household current uh, flows but if you crank up the 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 frequency or the Hertz or the cycles per second, if you crank them up to about a thousand cycles per second, something happens. I don't know if the electrons get mad or what, but now they're going like this, okay? And they're still going at the speed of light, but change in direction a uh, thousand times per second. Then when you have, when that happens, and let me just grab a piece of wire here, when that happens, whatever frequency is going up and down this wire gets radiated out in all directions. Let me show you here, like for instance, uh, if this was a, a antenna outside uh, sticking up out of the ground, um, the, the, the radiation would go in, in all directions at the, at the frequency of uh, the uh, antenna. So if it's a thousand cycles per second, it'd be going out and come in, going, going, going like that, okay? Now if you take another wire and put it out here somewhere, uh, when you reach about a thousand cycles per second, this, by the way, I'm sorry about the shaking. I've just been shaky all my life. Uh, so anyway, uh, th whatever's coming out of the antenna is generated at the same frequency in the wire uh, nearby, okay? And so like, for instance, a thousand cycles to a 2000 cycles is what, if you have an AM radio, uh, that's the frequency it picks up. If you've got an FM radio, that's a much higher frequency. That's uh, uh, just under a uh, hundred million cycles per second. And so a hundred million cycles per second coming out of this goes in here and you get your FM radio frequencies. Well, <clears throat> with your Mavic, the frequency that they use on that is 5.8 billion cycles per second. And uh, uh, that's, that's called giga 
cycles or gigahertz and so that's the frequency that uh, these antennas uh, work at okay now <clears throat> um, so uh, and, and by the way I said every every antenna has to have two wires and some people might look at this and say it looks like only one wire to me that's because the earth which conducts electricity the earth is the other side or the uh, that takes the place of the other wire and on your uh, there's all kinds of different uh, antenna configurations but on the uh, Mavic uh, system this is one wire and this is the other wire okay and it doesn't matter which way it's uh, it doesn't matter which way it's turning uh, these two these two work together so let's take uh, let me see what I want to do is point out that uh, the antenna on your transmitter these two antennas here speak to these two antennas here at a frequency of uh, 5.8 gigahertz now if you're really close, it doesn't matter. These these guys can switch turns at that high speed. Nobody's going to notice. And so then this would pick up this one and then this. They don't twist around or anything like that. It's just radiating out and then these pick up this. Now if they're sideways and they're close, uh, they still pick up what they're supposed to and it works great. All right. Now let's do this. Let's set this over here. And uh, uh, we, we don't need that right now. And we'll take and we'll enlarge this uh, radi uh, this uh, radiation pattern so you can see it better and I think I got that pretty much in the center and here is your transmitter okay and here is your drone <laughs> all right now when the drone when you take off and your drone is really really close uh, to the to the transmitter it doesn't matter which way it's turned, it's, you've got a good strong signal. By that what I mean is all the power coming out of these antennas still radiates in all directions, although when you use this configuration it kind of squeezes them together coming out the front, but it still radiates in all directions. So you can turn around and look the other direction and still transmit to your, to your drone to a certain point and then finally it doesn't. And the way that works is we'll move this guy out of the way here and we'll take a pin here and we let's pretend this is a piece of apple pie okay and when the antenna right here when you're close to the antenna then uh, you get a big slice of the pie because all of that radiation is coming out here and so we'll just draw a line just follow this radiation pattern out so it goes about like so and then this one comes out about like so so your antenna on your drone is picking up that chunk of pie, a big old piece of pie. So it's got plenty of signal and everything's working. By the way, the, uh, the drone and the uh, controller talk back and forth, okay? So let's say that you decide you're gonna do a range test like we're gonna try what do here pretty soon. And then uh, we'll get out, uh, you get out about to here. Now what's happened is you've, uh, all this other pieces of the pie are passing you by. And so now you just have a smaller piece of pie something like so and so you, you still get some apple pie but you just don't get as much okay and this the receiver in here needs you know a certain amount of energy but so far at this point you're doing fine but then when you finally get out to where you're about to run out of signal now you're only getting a small slice of pie and all the rest of the pie is going around you okay so now you get you have so as you get further away from the transmitter you get less and less of a piece of the slice of the pie all right now keep that in mind because out here somewhere you start to lose contact because it's just not enough pie to uh, make these antennas vibrate at the same frequency as the transmitter and so forth so now let's take what we'll just we'll just move this uh, out of the way and we'll bring the real guys in here okay so uh, you got your antennas here configured to work with these antennas and you're really close okay now we're going to exaggerate you start moving away and let's say that you get a half a mile away okay and you're a half a mile away and you start to, these antennas just cannot get enough pie coming off of these antennas and so you start to lose signal okay now the way this whole system is designed is these antennas are configured to be matched up even with 
these antennas. So when it's close, you can turn sideways and it'll still work. Or you can turn around and answer the phone and it'll still work. But as you get further and further away and that piece of pie gets smaller and smaller and smaller, uh, this is still working the same way, but it's just going to be uh, uh, weaker. Okay, when it gets to be where it's so weak and you've been flying out here and you're Way, uh, that's too far for the camera. Okay, so you're flying way out, you're half a mile away, and now you start to lose signal. Now, you'll see this on, on YouTube over and over and over, and I used to do it myself. You get out there and say, well, I guess I better turn around and come back. And as soon as you turn, all right, these antennas are no longer aligned with these antennas, and so now you're losing signal a lot more than you were, okay? You got out there and you started to lose signal and, and everything was designed right, but it was just not enough pie. So then you start to turn around and now you're just losing all the pie, okay? And it does a return to home, <clears throat> comes up, starts coming back, and pretty and notice how they're lined up when it's coming back? And pretty soon it's uh, you can cancel return to home and start flying it again. But you couldn't do that out here, okay? So here's the secret. It's called dance who you came with, all right? <laughs> when... Uh, when this guy gets out here and it's been working perfect, everything has been working perfect, and he gets out here, you start to lose signal, do this, back up. Now, if you're a couple feet off the ground, never back up. But if you're 100 feet in the air, back up. Because what's going to happen is you're going to keep these guys all lined up with these guys, and you'll get back to where you got enough signal. Then you can turn around and come home. Simple. Uh, it's not rocket science, okay? It's uh, electro electrical science. <laughs> anyway, so when you get out there, do not turn around to come back, and you're losing signal. Just stop, back up. When you get a good signal, turn around and come back. And so now this is a three-part video: basics of antennas, basics on not losing your signal, and now the third part. We're gonna go fly, and we're gonna see if I I haven't even taken this outside to fly it. Yeah, I just got it yesterday. So I'm going to do a range test and uh, just off my front porch, and uh, we'll uh, try we'll try seeing what if I if what I'm saying is true. All right, so let's go fly. All right, we're at the park, and take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Uh, that's DJI Dorothy, and uh, so I'll, this is the beginning of a long morning. Uh, like a dummy, I flew over here so I could uh, get a drony of myself. So I'm looking at the drone, and I'm not looking at the notice that comes up on the uh, screen. As you can see, payload mode enabled. 328 feet is the maximum distance, but I didn't see that because I was looking at the drone. So here we go. We're going to take off and see how far I can go. And... Uh, uh, Try to lose contact and then uh, go through it uh, two times, once turning around and uh, once just uh, backing up. So we get out here and uh, if you look down in the lower left corner, you can see that I'm 200 feet away and I'm on my way to fly down the, uh, the wash here. And by the way, there's water in there now. We had a big rainstorm. So watch down here in the left and you're going to see DJI Dorothy maximum flight distance reached. She's going to tell us that we're going as far as we can. Well, I had my maximum distance. Now, this is the thoughts in my mind. I had my maximum distance set at, you know, infinity as far as it would go. And uh, so I recreated the, uh, the steps at home. You click on settings and then you go to safety. And then you find advanced settings if you know where you're looking here. There you go right there. You click on that and you click on payload mode and you turn it off. The previous night I was flying in the house or previous day with the prop guards on. So uh, I had that turned on. I forgot to turn it off. And so they've got it figured out so that if you've got it in payload mode, you can only go so far because uh, it doesn't really have any way of balance or of measuring how heavy things are. So after about a half an hour of rebooting everything and trying to set everything, I finally found what I just showed you. And uh, so now we're ready to uh, go run our test. <laughs> and that was very frustrating because I had to, uh, uh, now here we're going to come by uh, the 325 feet and goes on and on and on. So then I was feeling great. 
Anyway, yeah, I, I went through every menu and uh, reset everything. I even uh, reconnected uh, the drone and the controller, you know, by binding them together, and I did all of that. And finally, I found in that menu in the safety section there at the very bottom, almost hidden, I found what I was looking for. All right, so we're going along here and we're 75 feet. I just went to 75 feet because I wanted to try to lose contact without having to fly for forever. So we're going along here and you can see that it's a little bit stuttery. So it's telling me that, uh, it's trying to tell me that it's starting to lose contact. But this is different than with the Mavic 2 because in the Mavic 2, then uh, this, the, the screen locks up. And that's your indication that you're losing contact. But in the Mavic Mini, it tries to uh, recreate the screen over and over instead of locking up. There's my signal that I should turn around. And but I uh, I'm so used to the Mavic uh, Mavic 2 zoom that uh, I still have a, a good stuttery picture. So I'm continuing on. So right back there where I got that ante loose uh, and or, uh, poor antenna signal, I should have uh, not turned around, but I should have backed up if I had a brain. So we get out here and we're actually over 3,000 feet and I was pretty excited about going so far. And then we get the weak signal again, adjust the antennas. And then all of a sudden, if you notice up in the top there where there's normally a Wi-Fi signal, uh, it's gone. So I actually lost contact with the uh, drone and the Mavic Mini while I'm in the black the Mavic Mini is climbing to my 150 foot uh, return home altitude and of course as soon as it gets up high enough I've got connection again so I take over and I start flying back and the only thing is is I'm not too bright because as I'm flying back I'm thinking well I'm gonna drop down low and uh, get it down to 75 feet but I'm still over 2,000 feet away and once again, I lose contact. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that I learned today about my Mavic Mini. Remember, this is my first flight outside with this thing. I flew it in the house yesterday because I got it yesterday. And then this is my first flight outside. So I'm in the process of learning this thing. And of course, one of the important things I learned is that the screen doesn't lock up. Uh, it keeps recreating uh, what it saw last for, you know, it kind of stutters, but it doesn't lock up. All right, so now we're going to take, we're going to do the second try of trying to lose contact. But this time, instead of uh, continuing on, when I get an indication that it's going to break up, then is when I not turn around, I just back up. So here we are going down the wash again. And uh, we can go quite a ways yet still. And it's still, you know, it's a little stuttery once in a while, but uh, it's pretty steady. And I really like the range that this thing actually has. Uh, I'm, really, uh, I'm really happy with it, as you might be able to tell. I think everybody that gets one of these is happy with it. So uh, anyway, we're at uh, about 1,500 feet. And it should be starting to, the signal should be starting to get pretty weak. Up there in the top, we've still got a Wi-Fi signal. And so uh, there's, it's still possible to control the aircraft. Now I'm getting a weak Wi-Fi signal. You notice how it's going away? Now's the time to back up. So I'm in the process of backing up. And uh, it's, got, it's asked me if I want to return to home, but I'm backing up, which fixes everything. So that's the secret. Uh, you got an antenna system that you want to keep uh, square, keep the antenna, the two antennas on each unit uh, square with the other two. And uh, that's a lesson that I learned today. And uh, one of the less, another lesson that I learned is be sure <laughs> and turn off payload. So I want to thank you for watching and God bless.